Gotta get that. <laughs> Gotta get that. Of course, you want that one because it's got the dog on it. Yeah, we all got that dog in us. Black today. lab. <laughs> got that dog. You get, You guys ever have the lab brand of wine from Portuguese, Lisboa? Yeah. Portuguese lab Was this the dog make wine? in a lab? <laughs> it was made in a they lab. They made it in a lab, and it has a lab it on wasn't it. It wasn't made up on DuPont in some back alley. <laughs> DuPont. <laughs> this isn't raw. Yeah. This is not raw. <laughs> this is made with electricity for sure. All right. Hey, those Professionally are, made. Hey, those wines are good. No, those are nasty. <laughs> I, but you don't understand. They're trying to be nasty. The point <laughs> is the nastiness. People I thought like, you were going to say, they're trying their best. <laughs> People they are. like to be down and dirty. Yeah, the funk. You got to get with the funk. Mm. Oh. Keep it in my music. Keep it out of my way. Oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> All right, well, cheers All right. to you guys. Cheers. 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 To Happy Eclipse Day. Happy, Happy Eclipse oh. Day. Hell yeah. Uh, I look straight into that thing. Gotta wait I saw there. God. <laughs> Corner of the podcast where we talk about all things Portuguese soccer, the good, the bad, and the funny. My name is Evan. Patrick. Justin. Christopher. This is episode 141. No, two. 142. Uh-oh, someone oh. changed a PowerPoint oh. this week. I'm falling apart. Oh, the guy with the TV prompter is getting fired. <laughs> oh, man. It's the eclipse. It shook me. The <laughs> teleprompter. Me. Yeah. How did you guys like the eclipse today? I think Chris had the best eclipse day. He went to the beach. I'll tell you oh. what. It was way cooler than I thought. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, I was like, ah, whatever. It's a stupid sun. It was like, you know, I've seen all forms of the sun. <laughs> then people are like, wear these glasses. I'm like, I can't see anything through these glasses. And then I'm looking at the sun. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's sun through dark glasses. The coolest part is when it's after it's happening and you just look at them without your glasses. And <laughs> you're not supposed sweet. to do that. What? Yeah, you looked at sounds, it without your glasses? <laughs> <you're not supposed laughs> no, when it wasn't so bright, it was really dark. For the thirty, for the five seconds that it was like actually eclipsed, you mean? Yeah. So right. when it's fully covered, it's like kind of okay to look at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was sweet, and it was really cool because it was like super bright, and then it's like super dark. I was around for the part where the the life got dark. Yeah, that it was, was that it was, was neat sweet. enough. I didn't have to look at it. Also, the people who were really into it and talking, because uh, I was by the hospital and there's like a lot of crowds and a lot of hospital workers came out. Trust me, if you had a nurse on call, she was out there in the street. I saw, I saw her. <laughs> Yo, Granny ain't getting her meds. And the people, I saw, like, yeah, everyone went outside and talked about it. I, they seemed like insane people. So you know, I was like, you know what, this is not for me. <laughs> These are for crazy people. I was out in uh, Burlington watching it, and it was like down by the water huge crowds of people everyone was like cheering and clapping yeah, so, and these old uh, white ladies were like that's amazing it's absolutely amazing oh my god <laughs> how astonishing these people have such boring lives <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clearly I was, it is cool though it is yeah it's cool and i like the cheering part because it's like yeah we're all in a crowd here together we're not gonna cheer you gotta cheer yeah. but that's funny like who are you clapping for <laughs> god yeah wow Man. way to go god the solar Science. system yeah, science. You know, you know, I don't. I don't think it deserved a. Oh, that's amazing! Out loud, it was just more like a cool. Huh? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Would you look at that? I was. My office is in like an industrial area, and it was just like we were outside, and it was still really cloudy, so we couldn't really see anything. But it just got dark for a bit. But you look around, and there's just like you know groups of people outside, and we're like. It's probably what it was like, you know, 20, 30 years ago when people would smoke and everyone go out for smoke breaks. <laughs> oh, you think it was a party out in the smoke break section? No, yeah, but it's just totally. like everyone's outside just like hanging out and you're like, yeah, 20 years ago when everyone had to go out for smokes is probably what it was like. You just <laughs> people still do that. People from other businesses. Do you nah, know not as much as they used to. Yeah, there used to be big. Yep. It reminded me of uh, in Toy Story, those little alien guys are like, <laughs> wow, <laughs> the claw. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> it is like the claw. <laughs> we were like those guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. People were talking about it all day. They're so excited. I think Lo the lots of old people are talking. I about think it. the hype was more fun than the than the actual oh, event. The sure. actual event was thirty seconds, but you know the hype about it and the and the laughing about it and the laughing at the glasses. That those are memories you're gonna have yeah. forever. Try you're to your, get a, try to get a group chat. Try to get a parking spot down in Burlington. There, impossible. Hmm. <laughs> try to get back to the four hundred one after. Psh. 
Oh, take you forever. Well, Niagara Falls was a state of emergency. Yeah, we were talking about this actually, and and uh, then I read some tweets out. Uh, you go around Niagara Falls, people were filming around there. There's nobody. It was a, it was deserted, mm. and it was a Monday afternoon. But at the same time, I think I think them declaring the state of emergency. Idiots. It it made everyone not want to go. Mm. Like, damn, it's state of emergency over there. It's gonna be too packed, and hotels were empty. And the last day they say, hey, we got plenty of room room at the hotel. That mayor should be fired. <laughs> yeah. Why is he declaring? Don't but, declare. Just like privately tell everyone, hey, be ready. Yeah, like, what was the emergency? Too many people? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Losers? You know how much money those businesses could have made? Yeah. Don't declare. I, that's a good just rule of life. Don't be declaring but stuff. That's the mayor's only job is to <laughs> declare things. I think, you're, I think you're only allowed to declare it once it happens. I declare. Yeah, yeah. It was a premature <laughs> declare. I do declare. Yeah. Yeah, you can't declare a state of emergency before it happens. An emergency is upon us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they should. O- it always should be a state of emergency because there's a giant King Kong there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and a Frankenstein. That's yeah. right. Frankenstein's head, too, right? He yeah. lives at the Burger King. <laughs> yeah. Scary stuff. That's right. Yeah, I forgot about the Frankenstein and the Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those Burger King prices are way too high over down there. That's an emergency. <laughs> a tourist trap. And I go to the casino, they take all my money. <laughs> That's an emergency. Yeah, I I'm, it. Broke I'm going time. to the mayor. I'm saying, declare a state of emergency. <laughs> I've lost two grand, and it was unfairly lost. <laughs> Spin the thing again. Spin the thing again. <laughs> a double zero. What the fuck is that? <laughs> a double zero and a single zero. Two. <laughs> it's European. Oh. All right, well, I don't know. The Eclipse is fun. I don't know how to transition into soccer. Just kick it off. I think soccer is also fun. Let's go. Soccer is also (laughs) fun. Total Eclipse of the soccer. (laughs) All right. Uh, Tuesday, Tasa in the Casa for Benfica. Uh, They tango with Sporting in a 2-2 game. However, the Lions go through on a 4-3 aggregate. Paulinho and Hulman score for Sporting, while Otamendi and Rafa even the game out. Um... That was fantastic. It all happened in the second half. First half sucked. Yeah, that, and that was the one I was more focused on, uh, in on. But, um, yeah, nothing really went down. But what did you think, Patrick? Lineup-wise, going into the game-wise? Like the lineup, they played great. They've had so many good chances. Yeah. We, we went did. toe-to-toe with the big dogs. <laughs> first place. Surprising to call it Sporting the big dogs, but they are Weird, the big yes, dogs this year. They've been scary the whole year. You know, it's good to go toe to toe. It's good to not back down. We did have to win the game too as well. We yep. couldn't just tie. We got to win that first Hoijman goal. That really like set us back on the. Back <laughs> That's a dagger. Magnificent. Yeah. <laughs> Joker has tees up Hulmand, and he just blasts it in. Or what did you call it, Chris? A curler. I said it, it was slotted. He slotted it. In. He slotted it in high. Yeah. Not quite stonky. It didn't have the stonk impact. Yeah. Mm. I don't mm. think it's. You're not blaming. I'm not blaming Troop. I'm not blaming anybody. I mean, we just got beat. Like I, let's. I'll start with this game. We didn't get beat. We got tied, and yeah. we had to win. And Sporting did what they could to tie us in our house. Previously, we had beat them in our house in the in the first part of the season, but you know, Sporting just they're just they're just good. Mm-hmm. Real good. good. I, you know what? It's it's gonna be fleeting. Gilker is gonna get signed next year. It's, uh, okay, but I'm think I'm talking about this year. And yeah, Ruben Amarim's gonna leave. Yep. It's okay, you guys are all look very looking ahead to next year. I'm talking <laughs> about this game this year. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to give it up for to Sporting. They tied us, I and am. they move on to the final of the Tasa. We didn't do enough over the two legs to win. We could have tied the last game and then forced this one to penalty shots. We also had some chances at the end. But you know what? Also, we tied the game up, and then what What does Sporting go back and do? They Like, right after they score, as soon as we tied it up. Mm-hmm, yeah. Nuh-uh. So then we not went today? Back. Yes, they said, they said not today. They said, yeah. you're not going to come back into this game. We're going to take exactly. the lead again. You're going to have to score two more. And we just couldn't do it. I think this game should have went to extra time because Di Maria's goal should have counted <laughs> in the first leg. Yeah. That was a crazy game also. This was probably... This was worthy of a final. I like every matchup that Benfica and Sporting have this year. It's always a really good matchup. It's, good, yeah. it's really good, like, back-and-forth football. This game was great, as just, like, a, if a neutral was watching it, it would be a fantastic It's good because uh, Sporting's good now. They have this swagger. They, they're so confident. Yeah. And I think it's because of Georg Kress, it's because of their coach, too. And and Emery Men. Instills that confidence. And Hoidmlin. And, you know, last year they said they had the best center backs in the, in the league. Now they actually do. 
They're and making these crazy backstage sporting yeah. videos. You watch them. You will listen to crazy music by the <laughs> Stoop Kids. You get pumped up every <laughs> week. Stoop Kids are good. Check them out. Yep. <laughs> that was yeah. That was for the weekend game, and we'll get to that very shortly. But this game, I just want to say, I really wanted this Tasa this year. The Otamendi header was nice. The raffle goal was just like tap in. Yeah, the Paulinho goal was kind of shit, to be honest. The Paulinho goal was the Jenny C- was Caetano doing a outside the foot. What could Trubin really do with it? Yeah, he deflects it right back into the center of the box. Which oh, you know, if you're Caetano, yeah. that's kind of what you you. That's exactly with the spin and the kind of shot you want to make on target. If he had curled it the other way, Trubin could have easily could have maybe easier uh, handled it. Would you say he sliced it in like a katana? Yeah, I would Jenny say, katana. Evan, you know what? I would say that, and I would say it was very difficult to defend. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes. And and all in all, they got what they wanted. They tied and they move on to the final. And it's going to be a chance, a big chance for a sporting big double. Not like one of those little doubles where you get like two tasas or something. Like a big double. Mm. Where you get the, the real double, yeah. And the big tasa. Yeah. It's a double cheeseburger. Yeah. Hold the lettuce. Don't forget the fries. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that whole rap. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys see the Ruben Emerim setup that happened? Nope. He, tell he, us. He re-signed with sporting till 2026. Whoa. A uh, $30 million clause buyout if a Portuguese team wants to buy him. A $20 million buyout if a European team or someone outside wants to buy him. And a $10 million buyout if it's like a big team like if Madrid or, or yeah. Liverpool or City. That's a bi- that's good business. That's a smart... Th- Sporting is doing smart things now, which yep. is scary. Well, hey, Benfica, we, we, maybe we want him. $30 million. $30 million. No. Sure. That's not. For <laughs> what, what are you gonna do with that? You're gonna buy some <laughs> shit player from uh, a Nordic you. country. Yeah. But I mean, that's cool for him too, because it's just like, oh, okay. Like we respect you. We respect what you've done. This is what we paid for you. If one of the best teams in the world wants you, hey, ten million. That's good to get money from it. If he, if he is gonna leave. When you hear a buyout clause on a coach. Like, is this the first time? I feel like you don't hear this. Very it happens, often. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Well, actually, Sporting bought him from Braga. Yep. Yes. So they can get him, like, as, as soon as possible. I know, but it's like, I feel like you don't hear a lot of, like, coaches getting taken on the, the buyout clause option. Yeah, they usually just get fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is true. There's been a couple weird coach things this year. Klopp, just like, I'm leaving, and this season, see you later. He's sick of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Marie, now it might all get tied together. I would love for him to come to <laughs> Liverpool. That'd be so sick. Someone mentioned if uh, Benfica could get Klopp, Porto could get Mourinho, Sporting can get, I don't know, some other jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> Ancelotti. I don't know. People just say crazy shit. Yeah. Porto, I heard uh, possibly Gasparini, the old Atlanta coach. Mm. Okay. But who knows? Who knows? We'll get there. We'll get there. We, no, could talk, I think, we, we could talk what ifs all day, you yeah, know? And yeah, we love it. And, and and I will take one more what if. I I say, let's say Sporting get Klopp. They do a little switch. Benfica get Jose Mourinho. I want Sergio Conceição to stay. Then I want yeah. him fighting all of them and just being insane. <laughs> like a, a crazy person. <laughs> so if that happens, Sergio has to stay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Klopp is going to take a year off soccer or something like yeah, that. He's gonna, yeah, he's he gonna, wants a break. Yeah. yeah, It's going to go to the Maldives. Yeah. Hey, but you know what's a good break? Lisbon. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Y'all Garb, you been there? Fucking beautiful. Yep. All right. We're going to talk about the second part of this Darby. But first, thanks for listening to the podcast. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, we're back on YouTube. Check us out there. And leave a rating. Leave a review. Smash that like button like our smashers can. Yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, we're also on Palma Radio. Palma Talk. Uh, it's an online Portuguese radio. Um, so check them out. They do other podcasts. Um, but listen to it on Spotify so we get more likes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ideally. But if you like other Portuguese content, check out Palmer Radio. Um, and then finally, we are on Patreon. If you want some additional content, some more craziness from us, we do an after show there. Um, just a little nice way to give back to us. Help us help uh, support what we're doing here. Bringing you some great content about Port... Well, great. You know, that's <laughs> relative. But uh, we're talking about Portuguese soccer uh, and having a good time. So if you want to support us that way, you can do that. But ultimately, spread the word. Tell your friends. Share the episodes when you see it on Twitter and Instagram or wherever. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. How are you doing? Hey. And if you do, we appreciate it. Thank you. Hell Thank you. yeah. All right. Part two. Sporting.
Jenny's got a gun. He uses it twice on Benfica. The Mozambican wingback lets loose on the Eagles, scoring at the beginning of the game and then at the end of the game to seal a 2-1 win. Alexander Ba ties the game right before halftime. The foot's so nice, he used it twice. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, speechless. Uh, Patrick, like, we're speechless. No, we're not speechless. I'm here. What what color am I wearing? Where do we start? Chris? You're black wearing and yellow, black, black and yellow, you're, black um, and yellow. You're mourning. I'm wearing all black because you know what? It's over. It's, the <laughs> season is over. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not? Well, no you know me. I'm a Mr. Positive, I believe. Oh, okay. Look, it's not over. We'll have to see about the game in hand, but seven points in this part of the year. Sporting had that. We had that lead on Sporting last year, and they, they brought it back down to one point. Mm-hmm. We did falter towards the end. And, hey, the refing towards the end, you're going to hear more and more ref complaints about the from the Sporting guys if there's any close games, let me tell you. They're going to say everyone's out to get us. They don't want us to win the league. Did you guys go with the exact same lineup? Yes. and I noticed that, yes. They went the exact same lineup. And I thought it was pretty smart because we just <laughs> ran their shit in that Tasa game. It's true. Played very well. So he's like, boom, again. I'm going to hit you with the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's just laughing. He's like, these idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what they did last yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. He's like, now we figured them out. Yeah. yeah. No, I think, uh, I, th- I think you said it was a power move. Yeah, it was a power movie. He, he pulled his dick out, and yeah, he put the same ass lineup. He said, "This, these are my cards." Now, what I would have said was, you know, th- usually when you pull your dick out and and you know off the flop, you show your hand. It's usually two aces, right? It's like I dare you to beat this. Yeah, yes. But we got Casper uh, Tankstead still in the lineup, and I would have changed that. Casper Mattress. Yeah. Yeah. That was just I me. Them. I would. I would. Schmidt pulled his dick out, and it was flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> but. Well, he said off the flop. He's more of a yeah, shower. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not crazy about Tank Stage's performance. He's pretty uh, sloppy, floppy. And uh, I'd pretty swap him out with Leonardo. He looks a little better. You guys you know, got all these crazy Brazilians. You know, keep 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 this one, yeah. one is a Casper is a ghost or a mattress. Leonardo is a ninja turtle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, him out, man. and an artist. Yeah. And an artist. Yeah. Man. I'd say for the rest of the end of the year, to keep the analogy going, like sometimes you're in like a threesome, right? And you whip it out. And let's say there's a threesome, another uh, guy. We don't got to keep whipping it out. <laughs> and <laughs> and you're, you know you're beat. You know, you're like, I don't have it, you know? And it's kind of like us with sporting this year. It's like they have us beat. They're just better. You know, they're bigger than us. They're stronger than us. They're faster than us. I feel like he's not trying things, though. He's just like, these. let's just keep playing with these guys. No subs. No change of lineup. Late yeah. subs in Schmitz both games. Schmidt's just doing missionary. Try new things, yeah, man. He's ch- that's what he's doing, yeah. Yeah, pull out some gadgets, you know. <laughs> tie somebody to the bed try frame. A, try a different move, yeah. Like, yeah. no one's seen Thiago Gavea much. <laughs> His one move, though, is like... Okay, I'm gonna put arsonist in what it, wherever position <laughs> arsonist is gonna work. <laughs> Wild card. That's his one move. Okay, arsonist actually played well. There was one time Gorkers had a break and he had his number the whole way. Yeah, kept him to the outside on his left foot. I think arsonist took played. care of him. He played well. Yeah. There was another point. I forget both these games. Part in us are like or part of me is kind of like melding into one. Oh yeah, that there happens. was a two on one. I think it was this game. There was a two on one. Sporting had, and the last man back was Arsenis, and he waited uh, just enough time, and he blocked the pass. Yeah, remember that, and that was that could have been the game right there. That I think th- that would have been. Well, it, I mean, the game the game happened at the end, but I think it was still one one at that time. He's or, great. Or That's maybe the thing one about nothing Sporting. He plays his little ass off. That's the thing. That's right, and I think he's our, our player of the season right now. Oh my god. <laughs> You guys were talking so much shit about this guy last year. I was. I yeah, was. I don't know. Sometimes in the midfield, he's not creative enough. If but he's playing like all these crazy positions and okay, playing his if, little heart out. If it were up to you guys, where is the best position for Arsenis? The bench. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we can get someone better than him. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> on the field. His best position is wherever he's needed. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a utility guy. Like, utility you know? guy, but he's like a six and a half out of ten wherever he plays. But a utility guy shouldn't be a starter. <laughs> no, he's great, though. I, I think he's fantastic. and I'm so confused. I haven't <laughs> s- I haven't seen him in the midfield in a while, though. Like I don't even know if he can still do it. Yeah. Well, he got a red card this game at the end, so... That's yeah. fine. That, Whatever, that, That's man. fine. That was not a big deal. Whatever. Yeah. Also, Porto got like six red cards last game. All those players are still there. I was like, well, what is this? Yeah, what, I don't understand. Is, I don't get it either. But anyway, it's still... On I think I even said that last week. I'm like, I, in this league, I've seen guys get red cards and they just play they the just next show game. show up like, next week. I think you just... Like, they did the George Costanza. They just <laughs> showed up. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> like th- nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> I think they just like appeal. It's like, oh, you know what? We're going to appeal it. And during the appeal process, like <laughs> they yeah. go to soccer court. It's, yeah. okay. it's up in the air until you can prove us guilty that yeah. we did, in fact, get a red card and break the rules. We're going to play. Then, and then they'll suspend them for like a game in the preseason next year or something. Who's the judge? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Who makes these calls? Yeah, the I judge, jury, know. and executioner. It's Pinto de Costa. <laughs> That's these are just in control. No, I don't know. But back to this game. I like. I don't know. I thought uh, Nares had a stinker. Yeah, he couldn't do much. He had that one chance. Nares yeah. had a big chance, and you know what? We, at, when it was one-one, we had some chances to get back in the game, specifically Nares and Di Maria. Mm-hmm. And they didn't take advantage. And, you know, Danny comes on here sometimes and, and he always says, you know, if you don't score, you suffer. And that's what happened to us. And usually it's the other way around with Sporting. They get chances and they don't score. Yeah. With the, this year it's us. And who scored was Sporting at the right times. I mean, the first minute we were just like everyone was still getting their pop, their uh, popcorn and getting to <laughs> it their was still seats, po- The man. popcorn was still popping. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were going to say pop sake. They were, <laughs> they were still singing the, uh, the Frank Sinatra song. I know, uh, and they yeah. already put they it love in. They love doing that, yeah. We got caught flat-footed. Usually, I would blame the coach or something like that, but when it's sporting, this, when it's this sporting, I'm like, they had the ball first, and they just, they had, they executed it. They I came know, hard, what yeah. what supposed to do. Indeed. Um, Freaking, yeah, and they're not marking Katamo, too, on that back post, leaving him out open. A lot of back post goals for both teams. We got a back post goal on the Otamendi goal the game before. We got a back post goal here with Ba. Ba's a very nice header, yeah. Ba with a good header it down. Great goal right before the half. And then... You and know, I don't think I noticed Rafa once. He was a ghost. He was Casper of this game. <laughs> Nothing. That's why I would have taken off. That's yeah. why I would have taken but off. But it's like with Rafa and Di Maria, it's like anything can happen. They have to have the ball in the feet and a little bit of space. They and can hey, make something magical happen. Shout out Franco Israel, who made some great saves both games. We didn't know he had oh, it in him. Di Maria. Yeah. Oof. Um, Gilcarez. Hit the post, I think, in both games. Maybe the crossbar once. He blasted it off the post, yeah. Bro, crossbar. that was that one time. He was he pushed the ball just across the top of the box and laced it on the post. Nasty, that boy. There's a big Swedish man that had the, the Viking beard and everything. That crazy. man was a crazy Portuguese man. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Who's better, him or the Pope guy in Benfica? Oh, the Benfica Pope is a legend. Yeah. But if you go Pope's Bar- amazing. And Barabbas. We yeah. love Barabbas. Bar- oh, <laughs> Barabbas. That guy's got a couple of restaurants there. We have the good and the yeah. evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, kind of uh, ruins your day, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're expecting to drink a lot. Yeah. Good blasted the rest of the day. And then you're like, what the hell do I do now? You and get, the Campionat could have been so close. And I think the other yeah, thing, too, is... Yeah, would have brought it way closer. The, the, I think the other thing, too, is, though, I couldn't be too mad because, like I said, again... They both good games. Both teams went for it. No team sat back, and then we just got beat. We just got beat, plain and simple. Mm, yeah, it's not like Porto beat us five nothing. That was something to be mad about or like mm-hmm. upset. Like yeah. how the how the fuck does that happen? But that when was two out teams of nowhere too. When two teams go at it at it head to head and you just lose, it's like, ah, you know, what are you gonna do? At least they tried. I agree. I agree. The effort was there. Yeah. You know? No. Yeah. You. They tried. Yeah. That's a it's a good loss, not a good loss, but yeah, like you guys fought at least. You know? And then to have it twice in the same week, it's not like oh they caught us on a bad week. I think both games were different enough. One was in their house, one was in their house. Where you're just like oh they're just like better. They're you know they're better than us this year. Mm. Yeah, obviously, we would have wanted the tie, I guess. Now that you lost, but we needed to win. If we that would have been way better to win. If we had won, won both games and we passed to the final and we were like one point away, like you'd be like. You'd be like, that's unfair. <laughs> you know? yeah. That was unfair. I'd be flying high right now. But that's the thing. It's like, that's how the season goes. You beat them in the Tassa, and then you, you're you one point away, and it's like, Schmidt looks like a fucking genius, but now he just looks like an idiot. I don't think he looks like an idiot. Hey. A um, lot. lot's going on. Everyone's like, he's go- is he gone? No. Rikasha There's- said he's here for the n- next year, too. Okay. There's murmurs that he's, he's not happy. He's not having it. I'm maybe, gonna- maybe he'll walk, you say? Maybe. I think, yeah, the media wants to make a big story. They run people out of town all the time. If you're my dad, he would have already been gone. My dad, before the toss game, was saying crazy stuff like, and what happened to, to Vlacodimos? He was amazing. Now we have this shit goal in here. So I'm like, okay, this guy doesn't know anything or is watching <laughs> the games or anything. He's just, like, mad yeah, about Schmidt. He's mad he's German. I think a lot of people don't like that he's German, too. Mm. He doesn't talk to them in Portuguese. He only talks to them in English. Yeah. I think that pisses people off a little bit. In Portugal, for sure. Yeah. Does it? 
It's like the Montreal Canadiens. They need their coach to speak French, and you're like, everyone's playing hockey all over America. I respect it. I think Bayern's coach has to be German, or has to speak German, like Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, because Pep learned German. Oh, did he? Yes, he had to. He took classes, he said. He must have, yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't to speak to you in your little language. I don't know if Jose has it in him. He knows knows so many already. Apparently, he's learning German. Oh, well, there you go. Every Thursday, he shows up to his little German classes with Helga. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Helga, Helga and Hans. Hans. Uh, oh, and then to just to close it off, Jose it? obviously at the uh, the yes. a- Derby Eterno. So I've then everyone making a big deal out of this. Yeah, guy wants he's to going go, to every game. It's literally the best game in Portugal that week. Why wouldn't you go? He lives in Lisbon. He's, he's going to go over there. Not retired. But and he walk, just walks right in. He goes for free. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to stop Jose Mourinho walking into the stadium? Do you yeah. think he has to get a ticket? No way. No. No, he doesn't probably pay for any of. There's like a, there was like ten wine glasses behind him <laughs> on the ledge. I was like, those are all his. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking turning up. No, he does. He goes. You see this belly? Run <laughs> 10, 12 miles today. He's pointing out every. So little he can fat drink all the wine. The, He's pointing out every little fat kid in the stands going, too fat. <laughs> <laughs> too, you should have. You should hold this podcast. Too fat. <laughs> you can't ask the question. <laughs> Come on, you are too fat. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. Porto have to make up their Tasa dates as they return from last week's self destruction with a 1 0 win at Gima Range coming from Pepe, who helps the Dragons goon closer to Jamor to okay. face Sporting. Uh, that game was boring as fuck. Mm. We put the highlights on and it started in the 45th minute. <laughs> And I said, thank you, Highlight Man. Thank you for not wasting my <laughs> fucking time. Uh, yeah, Pepe with a, a header there. Put them up in Guimarães, which was nice. Move one step closer to uh, to Jamor. But we got to play them again at home. And we did that for the league this weekend. And it did not go so well. <laughs> well, in the Tasa, we thought they would put up a good fight. But they waited for the weekend. To put up an, a good fight. Yeah, what's the deal with that? I think maybe they they came out. Maybe we're. I'm just gonna add a story here. That's not. Maybe it's not true. But like, you come out, you're too intimidated by Porto, and then they beat you one nothing. You're like, we could have had those motherfuckers. So then you yeah. come out on the weekend and you say, all right, let's let's do them. And I think they they almost got three. It was almost three nothing by the end of halftime. But yeah. they only got two. I think they, for Porto to come back. They analyzed them like RoboCop. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Now they figured out how to defeat them. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that center backs are tired? <laughs> <laughs> Pep is old. Too old. Benfica, <laughs> Benfica played Sporting in the Tasa, then they play him on the weekend. Yeah. Porto play Guimarães in the Tasa, then they play him on the weekend. Yeah, what was up with that? That's cool. What's this yeah. double double scheduling everyone? I think that schedule maker who who that's gets not you can't plan that. No, that, that just happened. Yeah. yeah. That's the way the Tasa crumbles, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, on the weekend on Sunday, Porto play Guima Range. They lose two one. Galeno with a goal for each team. And then Jota Silva, the difference maker once again. Yep. Where where do we put this season compared to like Ricardo Horta last year or two years ago when he was just the backbone of Braga? Like, yeah, I think it's if we, if Guimarães can take fourth place, then I say I'd put it up there with that. But even Ricardo Horta did all that for Braga, and they only got fourth place. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? They didn't t- they didn't crack top three. It's been a while since Guimarães has been up there though in fourth. Yeah, and I mean the Braga, and they're right there. I'll tell now, you what, they're in the if, mix. If they get it, they fucking deserve it. They've been playing Hell yeah. very well, and it's all down to the Hat Man, Hat Daddy, Hat oh, Daddy, Chico, <laughs> Hat Daddy. Um, having said that, Chico Conte sound looked great. He had a fucking good game. He just he keeps deking everywhere. He's entertaining. That's I, good, yeah. But you know what? If the game was on the weekend, and uh, mom was watching, she's like. I love that guy. She doesn't know anything about no, soccer. No, she doesn't like him. She says, "We the game is on, and that's the only thing I fucking hear from the announcers because the announcers say his name every time he touches the ball. Even if it's a layoff, they say Francisco Conceição. Oh, I guess that's her name as well. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is part of her <laughs> oh, name. Oh, I see. But also, even my wife who doesn't speak Portuguese at all, she's like, she watches, she's in the room when I'm watching Porto, and she's like, all I hear is Francisco Conceição, Francisco Conceição, over and over and over again. And, like, these announcers are obsessed with him. They like saying his name. Yeah. 
And then also they talk about the coaches and they say, so, 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 and it's just like, that's all you fucking hear all game. Yeah. Double. There's double contestant. Yep. Uh, I think it is it is the mark of the best the best uh, telecasters, you know, the best uh, on field guys is, is how they say Francisco Conte sound, and that's how I'm gonna judge everyone uh, mm-hmm. moving forward. I'll and what's, uh, what's and how do they say oosh? <laughs> <laughs> what's our guy's nickname for him? Does he have a nickname for him? Our main guy on Gino? TV, Gino. 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 I don't think you put one out. Just Chico. Okay. Um, that day, uh, Cordozo looked like fucking garbage. Mm. He was terrible. Got snipped at uh, halftime. Oh, where'd he get there on the fuck? Fi- um, a 5.9. 5. So 5.9. where's uh, terrible. Otavio? He's uh, suspended or something? I guess he was the only person suspended for some reason. I don't know and why. We can't, we can't figure out these suspensions. <laughs> no, they, nothing makes any sense. I don't even think, he, I don't think he got a red card last week. Maybe it was accumulated yellows. I don't know. Uh, Pep got a red. He told the linesman, you can't see the, the binocular thing. Yeah. Gl- what was it? Glasses, binoculars? I think, it, I, I think Pe- Pepe got uh, wrong by this. I think he was saying, make sure you get your eclipse glasses because <laughs> it's coming up. <laughs> it's on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. He was just telling him, like, you don't, don't look straight into it. Get yeah. your eclipse glasses. He really picked the wrong time. <laughs> I mean, that's just yeah. bad timing after what he thinks is a missed call is to tell him. You should wear your eclipse glasses well, for tomorrow. I think what he was saying is, listen, your eyes are already bad. You don't uh, want to ruin them. You better get your eclipse glasses. Uh, well, okay. that is it was an that, insult that, like that. That is a red card. It was, yeah. backhand, it was backhanded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a backhanded suggestion. Sometimes the backhanded, <laughs> that'll keep you in the game if you be, if you don't directly say it. It's kind yeah. of like, uh, yeah. He was like, whoa. The ref was like, this insult is so complicated. <laughs> this is definitely a red. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Danny Loader started the game. He picked up an assist on the Galeno goal, which is nice to see. Um, got a nice 80 minutes. But we also got to see the return of Taremi, which was fucking awful. He uh, was flopping around in the box again. And he's like, like watching what? Baywatch. Dude. Oh, <laughs> my God. Why do we still have him? Horrible. Overstayed is welcome. I still think I said before, like, Seferovic stayed too long. Yeah. One year too long. But I'll say this. I, he's just like he hasn't been playing a lot. So I think mm. he was a little rusty on the dive. If he had that mid-season form dive, yeah. especially coming into late season, his I dives think, are always. I bad. think he would have got that dive right on. You get those t- coaches. They're always embarrassing. The tens. I'll tell you what. From one camera angle, it looked legit. It looked like he got taken down. That's a key to. From uh, five other camera angles, it looked pathetic. <laughs> yeah, that's how he gets it. Yeah, yeah. that's how it's he does it. Different angles. There was also someone. It was like the first or second minute. I think it was this Thomas Handel guy. I think he puked on the field. Nice. I don't know, I think Ooh, I got I, jabbed in the stomach, but he's like, he got up and there was just like... He a, got punched in the jejunum. <laughs> he got punched <laughs> in the jejunum. You're right. You get hit in the jejunum, you're going to yak. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was unpleasant. But yeah, Thomas Handel, apparently he's Portuguese. <laughs> Must have thought? a German parent or some shit. Apparently, apparently. Um, but yeah, Game Range is just looking feisty, looking good. Yeah. Good for them. Game range too. I mean, that they're, they're looking dead at this at this fourth place spot. I was thinking. I said at the beginning of the season. The only thing I kind of got wrong is like I said. Uh, I said uh, Braga would finish ahead of Porto. Doesn't look like they will now because Braga now lost to Arauca. But Victoria, Game range and Braga are in a little bit of a fight here. Mm-hmm. So you think Game range can finish ahead of Porto? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> I don't know about that. There. What they're right there. <laughs> yeah. It's fifty six, fifty eight. Oh, is it fifty six, fifty eight? Yeah, they table. can. Yeah. Can we go back to the table? Three I think years. they. I think they can. I think. Fo- I think fourth place is up for grabs. Wow. Yeah, fourth, third, third, no, and fourth I think place. You can see. I like this yeah. little it's battle here, Braga, Porto, Gimarães. This is intense. I like it. I like it. Um, but yeah, on it's that a dog note. Fight. On that note, Braga not looking so good. Mm-hmm. Manager off to Brazil. Everyone shits the bed. Yeah, crazy. The first, the second, the manager leaves. And they announce, we're going to hire this guy next year, Daniel Souza. Mm-hmm. We're playing him this weekend. What is he going to do? The scheduling in this what league the fuck was amazing. Happening? I'm telling you, give an award to the to the scheduling script writer. Because he, how did he know that that was going to happen? You know? The, the sh- Premier League script writer? Fucking yes. Shakespeare. Um, yeah, Arthur George flees to Brazil to answer the call of Botafogo, leaving Braga to face off against future coach Daniel Souza. He heads the Spanish Armada. The deflated Arsenalistas are no match for the boys in the yellows and surrender two early goals. Then a final in the second to secure a 3 nothing win. 
Braga enter a dark period. Oh, just like the eclipse today. <laughs> Yo, Braga got eclipsed. It got dark for a moment. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then it got really bright really quick after that. <laughs> yeah. So just wait, all right? I mean, Roger looks bright. Bruma is looking bright. That combo is fucking deadly, man. They didn't yeah. score this week. They scored twice or three. They put three goals on last week. But it was a good game. Like, uh, yeah. Braga was getting so many chances, taking shots. Arua as... Barena was making saves. Yes. Aruka Reina. <laughs> Aruka Reina is Aruka what we call Reina. him. Uh, but, yeah, it's just one of those things where you're like, man, is Daniel Souza just going to go to Braga and say, hey, Mojica, Cristo, Jason. I'll say, hey. I think I could song. I could see uh yeah uh Braga raiding the Spanish Armada. At I, least one of them. Well I could see the sp- well, Braga getting raided, so then they have to replace with the Spanish Armada, then yeah. Arauca just goes down next year. You yeah. know what I mean? No, but Braga's What got, are what is Arauca without the Spanish Armada? <laughs> Braga's got some dead weight. Abel Ex- or Abel uh, Ruiz, Ruiz give up Ruiz? on him? He's done. He's toast. He's garbage. Toast. Uh Mojica's a, a, an improvement on uh, Yeah, Aruiz. of course. Bonza is probably worth a lot for how good his season's going. And it's like, if you can ditch Bonza for yep. money and buy Cristo and Mojica, you're flying. Yep. Yeah. And, and that's all for next season. And, and what I'm really like... What I'm really hoping for, though, is who do you want to buy? No, no, you skunk. I'm not gonna. T- I'm not gonna say you who I want. You trying to buy? You buy. skunk. Why are you calling him a skunk? I want. I want Jean Moutinho. Just to say, we got him. No, um, so he can do well. He's got to do the whole. He got to do three. the ronda. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't want Alvaro that. Jallo. That guy can play. Ricardo Horta is gonna come back at some point and heat up. And what I'm what I'm positioning for you, Chris, Show is me a your fifth moves. is a fifth place Porto finish. Oh. It's Yo, in the cards. It could happen. Sure, it's in the here. cards. If they keep going d- spiraling downwards, like if they lose another game, that'd be insane. I and then they, maybe they'll drop. They have to play. They have to play Sporting still. Yep. Right. Well, we want them to win that game. Yes, of course. <laughs> but I'm I just can't saying. see it happening. I don't see it yeah. happening. Prove I can see the f- the fourth place finish. Maybe. Yeah. It, but a fifth is uh, you're talking crazy. You're saying I'm getting. Ooh. You're saying I'm, I'm getting too excited over here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just, you know, my eyes gleam up when I see a, a faltering Porto. That'd be nice. Benfica did the sixth place, place finish in, like, 99 or something. Oof, yeah. When that they were going bad. bankrupt. 99-2000. <laughs> Impressive performance there, Daniel Suja. Is that what he looks like? He's bald? He's got a big-ass head, bro. I've yeah. never seen this guy in my life. He's the Professor Xavier. He's coming in. That's nice. a dome. Have you, looked, dome. have you looked at his um, his resume? What else is there besides Aroka? He's got so much he's hair. Whoa, he's wearing a suit here. This is, he's he's a Marvel, handsome with hair. He's, he's from the Marvel he's Cinematic he's Universe. It's it a very here. common name. That head is so big. <laughs> uh, no, but he was... So he basically followed Village Boas through his time at Porto, Chelsea, Tottenham, Zenit, uh, analyst. Shanghai, oh, it's Marseille. his boy. So like the that's under, the connect. The, the understudy. Yes, he is the Anakin. And that's OB. why... That's why people are saying if... Village yeah. Boys is the president. He would get his boy. Yeah, but now that he's promised to Braga, um, still the election is. I don't know when. Apparently, it was supposed to happen three <laughs> months ago, and it keeps getting pushed. It's getting pushed. Yeah, politics. What are you gonna do? The other guys, first half frenzy in France. The Lions score four goals, but all the nice ones are ruled off. All the clunky ones stand. They beat Bovista two one. Bovista done. Do they have no more wins in them? I don't know what's going on. They started well. They're they're yeah. They're just done. Bosnick's nowhere to be seen. Nope. No. You could tell him the real fever app. Nowhere to be seen. No one knows this guy. <laughs> no. I'm glad we didn't switch him for Musa. We've been Musa Part Two. Musa 2.0. <laughs> yeah, we gotta wait on that. Don't get. Don't do that. Good win for. Uh, oh, that was, that was my dad this weekend too. And what about Musa? Where's Musa? Hey, I'm <laughs> actually kind of. I would love like to keep Musa for the rest of the oh, season. I would have taken Musa over. What do you mean? Oh God, he scored off the bench. He scored so many goals. He would have been better than Tankstead. You start Cabral or Leonardo and you bring a Moose off the bench, that would have been a good season for him. Honestly, yeah, I more prefer up- Moose over Tankstead. Tankstead has more upside. Yeah. Mm. Upside. Long term. He's yeah. a fucking clunker. <laughs> clunker. Uh, Portiminense beat Chaves 3-2 with some late goals and a stonk from Brazilian winger Igor Marques. Um, Igor Marques? I thought it was 
Igor Formiga. That depends. Igor Formiga was what we saw in the highlight pack, and I, let's keep it that way. That was nice. <laughs> I like the Formiga. <laughs> yeah, Formiga. Formiga. Uh, is this a stonk? We'll give it to him. I don't. We don't have any else to give it to, right? I'm not declaring stonk of the week. I'm just saying, is this goal a stonk? Ah, uh, good question. Oh, uh, the trajectory, the shape. It no, dipped. it's it, not. It hit the goalie's hand also. It yeah. did, but like when you see it regular, like the broadcast in real time, it looks great. Yeah, the way it travels and goes in from the how far out it's it is. It's more like a deep knuckleball. It's got <laughs> dis- it's got <laughs> distance on. You're calling it, it a dicky. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of dicky. You know what? All right, give it to him. Give it to him. We don't got to declare it. I mean, there's nothing else. There's no competition, is there? I'll tell you what. The amount of words, just the amount of vocabulary that Chris has for different shots is just incredible. It's I love it. It's an Blows art. It's really an art. Freaking mind. Uh, what else we have? Family Cow beats Vizela three two. Shikino. Shikino is fantastic. I love. Shaquino, he's the reason to switch your TV on and watch Family Cal. He's the reason for the season. Reason uh, for the season. Him, Jean de Cadiz, they're lighting it up. They're coming back and winning in the 95th minute. This is what Family Cal brings to you. And they, weren't you saying you you feel like Shaquino's like, uh, he's like, get me out of here kind of vibe. Yeah. He's, this yeah. is the end of my loan. You got to peak at the right time. Kind of like kind of like Rafael Leon was doing and Gonzalo Ramos. You got to like swoop, get that up. Kind of uh, yeah, upswing, thing. get me back yeah. to the Premier League, baby. Yeah, look what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, I think he's impressed. He knows who he is. He's yeah. like, I'm going somewhere better than this after yeah. this season. And he's like, wow, look at that Pedro Neto that's all broken in the corner. It looks like you guys could use a winger. Uh, oh, you're talking crazy. Is he, on, is he on loan? Yeah, he's on loan. Oh, okay. We'll still loan him? Oh, yeah. I think that's a good move. Yeah. Bring in uh, Chiquinho, bring in Jonder. Well, yeah, well, when Pedro Neto was playing ball, everyone was saying, man, you're going to pick this guy up. Someone's going to pick this guy up. Big team, big club. Mm-hmm. So, I think, um, like well, it was Arsenal, rumored, some other teams. Oh, yeah, but Arsenal like, was the main one. Yeah. I feel like the injury prone is, like, it scares people. It's going to, yeah. uh, it would scare me. It would yeah. bring the price down, though. Like, this guy's always injured. Like, I'm not going to pay top dollar. No. I don't think he'll get it because of that. But it's a big you think he might just stay again because like of the injuries. Pedro Neto's value... What would you say? Seventy? No. If he, no, 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 no. If he's not injured, say he oh. doesn't get injured. Yeah, and he's consistently, consistently doing what he does. Yeah, seventy. Sure. Maybe. With the injury, what's what is it drop down to? 30, 30, 25? 30 20, Yeah, 15. twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Yeah. He's just kind of like, yeah. The best. But that ab- could be a bargain if you can get his fitness right. The if best ability is availability, but the thing is, if all after all those injuries, is he gonna torque it? Again, and also, like, is he going to have that same speed? Half his game is speed. I think a lot of it's speed. It is, yeah. Speed. And maybe that's why he fucks up his... Dangles. Is all his injuries. Jangles. Do you want, like, an all-star player for a third of the season? Like, yeah. yeah. realistically, that's what you're paying for. But you might pay the buyout for that, or whatever the transfer fee is, but you're probably not going to promise him crazy wages knowing that he's not consistent. Yeah, I think what what they do in North America with a lot of things like that is like, okay, we'll take a chance on you, and here's like a low, low, low base salary, take a chance, take a and then what we'll do is, uh, what do you call it, like rewards based uh, bonuses, right? Oh, like you gotta meet, show up and do the you shit. You meet targets, ten goals. It's a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> yeah, I don't. But I think that's clear. That's not a Ponzi yeah, scheme. That sounds time, like fair. What's he no, playing? It's a Ponzi it's scheme. Sell to ten of your friends, you get a bonus. Uh, make but, your ten friends sell to another ten friends. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid scheme. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, it's like look at how I'll many get ten Portuguese guys in here for you <laughs> yeah. next next week. <laughs> But he's played maybe 10, 15 games this year. He's got like 25 assists or something. That can't be true, but no, he's, he's got not. a lot. Yeah, he's, he's got he's, a lot. He does, he does a job he there does when he's well, in But there. that's the thing. It's like if he can play a third of the season but rack up more assists. I'll tell you what. When he's healthy, I, I'm i like, damn, Wolves might finish top eight or something, right? Oh, but yeah. They look crazy. The minute it. he's gone, I'm like, ah, they're back down to 12th yeah. or 15th or whatever. Hey, I'll tell you what. This guy on Rio Ave, Patrick William. Woo! Amazing. Yep. They beat uh, Jill Vicent 3 nothing, and fuck Jill Vicent, man. I'm so <laughs> happy to see these guys lose. They're so close to relegation. I'm so excited. You're a Jill fa- a hater? 
They're just, I've tried to watch them so many times and they're so unexciting and they've just kept losing this season that I've lost so much faith in them uh. that I just, I want them down. Yeah, I could see that. Go. No, Least no, exciting team. No thrill Jill. That's no thrill Jill, baby. <laughs> Get out of here. If Rio Ave is beating you, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> they fell off so hard. They used to have Fran. Yeah. yeah. Lino. That's a good team. Some good now coaches. Just Fujimoto out there on his own. Oh, Fujimoto. I feel bad for Fuji. Poor Fujimoto son. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that's the week in Portugal. Sporting still in the lead. <laughs> Easy win next week against Jovi Vicente. That's oh, that's week. what you think. <laughs> uh, Watch them show up for that one. But for Benfica, Morense is a tough team. That is. Morense is a fucking. Just a hard, they're stonk, hard, stonk hard. <laughs> just a fucking rock. Oh, yeah, they're a rock. Porto plays familiar count. Ooh, oh, that's <laughs> cheeky. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Gotta play cheeky. <laughs> Tune in. Do you see a fifth place? Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Hey guys, remember Mr. Burns? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Braga will play Estoril and Guimarães Farense. Ooh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Guimarães on a games. five game win streak. Fucking A, the only people in the league other than the leaders, Sporting. Um, bottom of the table, Shav. Shavs are done. They're over. That's this the experiment's done. Going down. Steven Vitoria, I don't know what's happening in his career. He's getting old. He's still got to play for Canada. I don't know what's we'll happening. We'll see. Now. Uh, that's it. Back to Winnipeg, maybe. <laughs> no. Oh, another Simpsons reference. Very nice. <laughs> no, if, come, uh, York United. Come to York, baby. Dude, we'll take that's you. a big drop down. <laughs> if maybe go to TFC first. Than fucking Winnipeg, brother. If you're last place Portuguese league, I don't want you playing for Canada, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he got. Yeah, he's I been know. relegated. This will be his second time. And I don't even yeah, think he got he's, relegated two years ago. I don't even think he's starting every game. But at he Shavs. kept he kept Shams up last year. Yeah, you know that's a big job. Shams, you know. They had two seasons in the first division. I think that for a little little town like that, a little club like that, good job. Uh, Vizela, sadly, also dog shit. They're going down. They've had some good time, but, you know. Yeah, we've enjoyed them. They have a nice little stadium with good fan base, and they had Pacheco for a while. Yeah. Pacheco I wish, did I wish a good job the with them. Porti Minens, fighting their ass off to come up, as we saw this week. I think we like this, this ragtag group of guys on yeah. Porti Minens. They're... They they went crazy that celebration for that goal. Of course, the Formiga. Yeah, um, Igor, tag, a bunch of urchins. <laughs> <laughs> Bra- yeah, they're not urchins. They're, bra- think- they're bragamuffins. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, who I want going down is probably that um, Amadora. Amadora well, is cool. I kind of like Amadora. Need they have team great. in there. They, they have Casa great Pia. jerseys. Lisbon already has Casapia. They need a Estrela Amadora too. I think we're calling for Shavs Vizela Gil Vicente. I want Joe Vicente to stay up. It's a Barcelo, Barcelo's team. It's a good team. Yeah, good stadium. But look at this record. Draw, draw, loss, loss, loss. That thing going nowhere, brother. Let's yeah, see that's who's a going bad up. Form. Do a quick look who's going up. Oh, we know. Our boys. You know? Santa Clara's probably coming up. I'm coming up. I want the world to show. Gonna let it know. Santa Clara. And I'm shoot both sides. What if we did a three islands come up? That would be to crazy. The, to the first yeah. division. Maritimo Nacional and Santa Clara. Wow. That's what I want. Because yeah. I don't want AVS. This team's stupid. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Justin, Any team that's a sod, you're like, I don't trust them. Guys, <laughs> it's not. It's Just, a made-up team. Justin yeah. doesn't like their futuristic uh, badge either. Their badge no. sucks, too. Oh. Yeah. yeah, Too simple. Yeah. yeah. Hate a futuristic badge. What and did you say, Chris? I was going to say, I'm going to be in San Miguel in the summer. As you should. You better go to see go to the, You got to go to the stadium. I got to go to the stadium. If you're late August, you're going to see some Premier League action. I if will they go be. Up. I yeah. will be. I just, I'm hoping they have a home game. I'll be there the last two weeks of August. Amazing. Mm. Two weeks, you'll probably get a home game. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. You're only going to find out the week before, though, because that's how Portugal makes their schedules. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Because they have to adjust to whatever the storyline is. No. Is that <laughs> yeah. what they do? Oh, no. <laughs> Well, <laughs> no. Well, the, the games are set, but yeah. the times in the weekdays are... Up for grabs. You learned this for first hand last. Uh, yeah, those sons of bitches. Anyways, let's move on to England. Midweek, Manchester mutiny as the Devils come back from a 2 nothing deficit and lead 3-2 into added time when Cole Palmer strikes twice to help Chelsea take the win 4-3. Wow, two what? touchdowns for Cole Palmer. Two Amazing. touchdowns for Cole Palmer. First uh, one, Dalo just falls into uh, Makaleli there. <laughs> Madueke. <laughs> Madueke. And, uh, <laughs> he's an old school Chelsea head. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't really touch him too much. But I don't think he ever scored a down. goal, Makaleli. 
He's more of a de- defensive guy. Uh, but the way yeah, the, the way I thought it looked like Dallo got beat was was he was got beat, and then he just kind of fell to pretend like Madueke fouled him. Maybe mm-hmm. he got called for that because that guy blew right past him, so then, he was kind of lost. And then Madueke fell, and then yeah, <laughs> penalty. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's down penalty. Uh, Cole Sounds Palmer. like dominoes. What the hell? Dominoes. Uh, and then Cole Palmer with a nasty shot and deflection to win the game. Unlucky deflection. It's kind of felt yeah. like they kind of fluked it. It's one of those things where it's like Scott Tomine has scored so many winners. He was just due for a an end of the match handball yeah. into the corner. Lose the game. And then, you know. Manchester United versus Chelsea, I would say in 2004, 2005. I mean, this is the game of the season. Yeah. Mid-table battle. <laughs> I remember one time yeah. me and me and Chris went to, uh, we went out of our way to go watch one of these matches at um, the Mad Hatter. Yep. And it was the a Mad zero Hatter. zero. It was a Mourinho Ferguson era, and it was just a boring ass zero zero. Oof. Uh, but this was exciting. And uh, Bruno did score. He scored a header. Yeah. Uh, Garnacho also been on fire as of recent. He's been playing well, that kid. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a real player. He's, he's a, a real <laughs> nacho. 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 <laughs> and Mayno. And Mayno. Great call. Well, we didn't get there yet. Now let's get there. Oh. Uh, Manchester United versus Liverpool on the weekend. Great game. Very exciting stuff there. Uh, Bruno scores his fiftieth Premier League goal against Liverpool. He snatches a sloppy back pass. And lobs Kelleher to tie up the score. Mainu would take the lead for the Devils, but it would all level out with Mo Salah scoring a penalty. Uh, despite the scoreline, Liverpool actually just fucking battered United that day. Yeah, battered, but not fried. Oof. Oh, <laughs> they couldn't drop him in the deep? Couldn't drop him in the deep. Yeah, a million chances. Klopp started this Kwanzaa kid. Quanza, yeah, he's back. been Quanza. starting, hasn't he? Quanza has been playing well, right? But he's a young kid. This is an important game. Konate should start theoretically. He had faith in the Quanza kid. Quanza makes one little slip. Bruno gobbles it. Oof. Yeah, the gobble. Right? So it's Bruno like, did the gobble on he, that one. He yeah. gobbled it up. I love how he but he saw he can hit it right away, and the goalie was out one yeah. time. I was gonna say he did the gobble, but the the goalie was the turkey. But yeah, really, yeah. Was oh, he? Yes. because he was probably <laughs> trained to be out that far to to be available for the back pass. Correct. Now, what the Quanta kid made a mistake was if your goalie's out that far for the back pass, probably give it to him. Use him. <laughs> yeah. Use yeah. him. Yeah. Probably make that pass then because he's up there so far. That's and what the said strategy he went is. across and Bruno picked it. But you know what? Kudos he failed to- the gag and press. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. The amount of opportunities that Liverpool had that they should have buried, that shouldn't have even been a factor in this game. Yes. Uh, Mo Salah is not clicking the guy's old now, I guess. There was I the one know. play where Luis Diaz played him in, and the pass wasn't quite there. Could have been a much better pass, yep. and you expect better from the Luis The pass Diaz. had a little too much spin on it, and it was a little too slow that Salah had to come kind of back for it. Mm-hmm. Whereas if it was a perfect pass, which is, I mean, perfect is hard, but if it when was a little bit Premier better. League, you should expect perfect. When it was a little, if it was a little bit more ahead of Salah, Salah could have done something a lot more with it, I think. Do you Lu- know the play we're talking about? Correct. I do, yes. Yes. Luis Diaz also had a chance at the very end. He ran in. He was a little bit falling over, but he was so close to the net. I'm talking mm. like eight. Nine feet out, just outside the six yard box, mm. and he skied it. But he could have buried that game it, himself. Oh, you're always looking at the negatives. Of <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it's <laughs> tough to kill the guy when he scored a really hard chance. Well, I mean, no, that chance yeah. was not what easy. What about Darwin assisting Luis Diaz? Darwin knows yeah. what he's that was doing. sick. Yeah, no, I'm, dude, the amount of chances this team creates is insane. It's yeah. crazy. But, like, when you think of the caliber of players you have up front, you're like, Let's when you have 50 chances, you could score total, three. No, total shots, 28 to United's nine. <laughs> yeah. And Manchester United's first shot on goal was Bruno's shot in, like, the 46th exactly. minute in the second half. Exactly. 50th minute. So, if you're a Liverpool fan, this is, it's frustrating. It's so frustrating. Because mm-hmm. you're like, you are the better team. I can't, I and I must go back to Bruno's goal, like, the skill it took to do that and hit the net with the spinning out. It, he knew how to, what he was doing. Great goal. Yeah. But who else scored a great goal? Mino. How about his curler? That was Ooh. beautiful. It was beautiful. Not much Look to do about that one. Mino. Uh, CDM. 18-year-old English boy. People are calling him, play for England. We need you for England. 
Well, in the midfield, is he, he, can, he can go right in. Who else is there? Declan, your boy. You're wearing an Arsenal jersey right now. I am, yes. Maguire's mm. still shit. That guy so nice they sucks. named him Rice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maguire does stink. Who's this other center back? I never even heard of him. Kambawala. Who this man? Did you think Dallow did a good job? Really? When you watch this game, Chris? Dallow played good. He did play well. Because there was a... I forget who was on the... I want to say it was Darwin or something was like running up, and uh, Dallo ran back and sorted him out pretty quick, and yep. I was I was impressed. People are saying, well, the pen was his fault. Yes, uh, it was. People are saying if um, Ruben goes to Liverpool, he might take Diomande and Inacio with him. Would you like it'd be a three? He would do a three at the back situation. That's what Ruben Amarim likes. You think you would like that with? With uh, Van Dyke being in the middle, uh, there. you gotta you gotta talk to Big Verge. Big Verge is the guy mm. who runs that back line. Right? <laughs> He's so, running. Yeah. I, I don't, don't think know. Liverpool can take both. They gotta pick one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Verge is like the man you depend on. Konate is like a good strong second, and then uh, what's that? What it's like? What does that price tag look like? What are you throwing down? Hundred mil, sixty for Anasio, for both, forty yeah. for Diamande, and then a hundred for, for Giocaris. Two hundred mil. <laughs> 200 mil to the green side of Lisbon? No, I, I'm not saying Ruben Emery would take Gilgris, no. but he's Sporting already got, can't get those prices. Oh, if we got Gilgris and got rid of... Sell Salah for Gilgris. Sell Salah to the Saudis for Gilgris. No, then you're going to have what? Oh, a two-striker system, with uh, much like he has with Paulino and Gilgris, but he has Gilgris no, and Darwin. Gokur, you play Gilgris in the middle, and then... Ooh, but then What about Darwin? Darwin? You could play him on either side. Get rid of fucking Darwin, Gakbo. Darwin plays bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of Gakpo. I would sell of Gakpo course. as well. Gilkers, Keep Jota, but Gilkers Jota can, and uh, Gilkers Gilkers can will run, be yeah, bouncing can back Yeah, can run on the wing. He can do it all, man. He's unstoppable. Crazy. Unstoppable. Yeah. It's, not even, it's not even signed, but we're already building a Liverpool team for next year. I Damn. love it. And I'm, I'm just sitting here getting real hard. <laughs> and what? <laughs> and uh, but Ty, Arsenal wins. Arsenal's first now. Yeah, what on, do you point, think? on goal difference, right? Yeah, goal difference, yes. But it's like a nine. They have nine on them. That's, yeah, it's, that's it, a good amount. Yeah, it's thick. What do you think? Uh, I think there's still time left for things to happen. There's time so. left, but yeah. there is a lot it's of time all, left. It's scary. It's scary, but you know what? And has Arsenal won a big game, though, yet? Like one against one of the big, big clubs? Like you guys, this pro- season, they you, beat Chelsea. They, no, I mean, they Chelsea's beat... Chelsea's not, not, not a big team. He said big club. I'm City. sorry. I'm sorry. No, I meant City. They, they beat drew? City yeah. and they beat Liverpool. Yes. But you also parked the bus against City last week. Yes, and uh, no, no. I think that's kind. Of, no, no's good against City. Yeah. You know what? Whoa, it is good. This is Arsenal's in first with no games in hand anymore. Oh no, yeah. yeah, and it's just goal difference that has them first. Seven games left. That is insanity. Mm-hmm. I think Crazy. Arsenal has a bit of a tough schedule. City has an easy schedule. I think I'll and Liverpool what, is okay. Let's see what happens with this you guys in the Champions League. Uh, Liverpool still in the Europa League. Yep. I mean, not against the craziest they opposition. Uh, I want to say like Atlanta. I got to double check on. I that. think it is Atlanta. Yeah, because yeah. they would have been it playing right there, sport yes. thing if yeah. they weren't. And that's on Thursday. Yes, Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. With all their guys injured, and the Thursday game's worse because then Liverpool, you guys yeah, play on like Sunday or Monday. They play. I think they play Sunday morning. It's not a big team. So. <laughs> that's not ideal. But Arsenal will yeah. play on Tuesday, and then that's a good rest. Exactly, it's true. Mm-hmm. That's why Portugal they always let them. They let, usually let them play on Monday or something. That's why sometimes. we make the They'll schedule that, yeah. last minute, <laughs> so they can move it around. Uh, Andre Gomes on the pitch for Everton. They beat Burnley one nothing thanks to Calvert Lewin goal. Um, nice. Just keeping them outside relegation. And then did you hear? They took two more points away from them this <laughs> week. <laughs> they keep them just outside relegation. And they say Fuck. someone posted the video of uh, LeBron saying, "Thanks for coming along this journey." And here's two more for you. <laughs> two more for you. See you later, bitches. Was uh, it more financial investigation? And they yeah, it's financial stuff. And then they did more. They should have bought Beto. They couldn't afford Beto. What were they thinking? Uh, Idiots. Uh, Rafael Leão. He goes surfing. Uh, <sighs> keeps that scoring streak alive with another win for AC Milan. He tucks in a nice breakaway to secure the third and final goal in a three nothing win over Lecce. Pulisic and Giroud will also score that day. Pulisic, a nice banger outside the box. Ah, fuck him. <laughs> we, yeah. love, we love our family out. 
he did the beautiful surfing celebration. This is a new one. Take this man to Nazare. He's surfing. Oh. Yeah, exactly. He's surfing on Nazare. I like. Th- I love his his uh, celebration innovation. He's always doing something. He, he's yes. always having fun out there. I was gonna he's say he's always smiling. Originality. Yeah. And surfing is cool. And I think he's saying I'm on a wave. I'm on a That's wave. That's what these rapper guys say. You know. Right. And he's wave forty five. He's. Eight. I forgot. He's wave forty five. <laughs> yeah. So um, cool. He's playing. He's playing well. We are, we're always watching AC Milan. They're, it sounds like they keep winning, but they're not. They're not winning the league. No In Inter, one, this team we never talk about. First, t- first time of the season. Inter, Inter they're about to win away it. With it. Yeah, yeah. Liao. I think I saw on Twitter, Sean Gillen or Tom Cundert, one of those guys, or Portugal in general. They were saying the last ten games that he started, he scored seven goals. Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty fantastic. Mm. Uh, between, yeah, club and country because he scored for Portugal. So, uh, yeah, impressive performance there. Shout out Pulisic. Great game. Yeah, also in the uh, Roma-Lazio game, which was the Rome derby, which Mourinho could not win no matter how hard he tried in all the years he was there. Roma have finally beaten Lazio. Uh, one nothing win. Uh, there was a debacle at some point, and Dybala... <laughs> Is fighting Genduji. They're getting into I it. I saw this, yeah. He takes out his shin pad. This man has shin pads of him raising the World Cup. That's uh, honestly the lamest thing you can do. Yeah. I think Genduji is a shithead, but I think he won that. Yeah. Because you pulled he, out your shin pad with you, a picture of you on it, holding the World Cup. That's Who just, cares? That's just lame to <laughs> that's own that. So Why lame. are you playing with You're that? You're a fucking loser with that for having your that. sock, that's embarrassing for you. You're living in the past, man. That yeah. already happened. Let's feel, let's yeah. Who cares? And it was, it was against Gwendozi, which is kind of probably maybe what he was thinking about, like why I'm showing you this, because like, if you him, did yes. lose... But I thought it was going to be like, uh, you know, WrestleMania was this week and like, oh, he pulled out a foreign object, you know, clobber him with the shin pads yeah. or something, you know, hit him he in the head. He smacked him with the Chanel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Gwendoza is one of these like guys, he's like a shit disturber, like Otavio too. He gets in people's yeah. faces. He wants the other guy he to He grabbed his red. neck a little bit. Ooh. You pulled out your shin pad. You lost, brother. Yeah. You're not cool. I can't believe we didn't mention this in the derbies. But Di Maria hit a man in the face. Oh, oh yes, we almost forgot. I Pote right in the almost fucking forgot. noggin. I'm sorry. It was a swipe. If you've turned off your, if you've turned off your thing, we're gonna try and clip this to the front. Can we do that, Evan? <laughs> no, it's all fluid. We go back and forth. <laughs> all right, but so we missed this clip, and to me, me and Patrick, we, we watched this game together, and I said, "No, he's just doing a swipe. He's trying to get Pedro Gonzalez, who is a shit disturber, by the way, as well." Was getting to his face, stood right in his path of walking. He wanted to get in between him and Di Maria and where Di Maria was trying to go. Stood right there, like a little shithead. He stood in his way, but and Di Maria, Di Maria gave him. more of the force. He chest bumped him, and then he also gave him a, a swipe. He swiped him to get him away from his face, and his fist caught Di, caught Pedro Gonzalez in the face. I was scared because if you var that and look at it, I, I can see a red card happening. Yeah, this is a punch. Oh, it's a closed That's fisted a closed swipe. Fist. It's a closed fisted swipe. Look, if it was a wrestling referee, oh. he oh, really doesn't get a lot of face though. He's he's he gets a swipe. In the... He's saying, "Get out of my face." He doesn't even look at him. He doesn't even know where he is. So how can you call it a punch when he look at his eyes? He it's doesn't look where he That's is. That's knuckles. He knows where his face he is. He doesn't know where he is. I do really like how Artur Suarez de- uh, deal with this. He just talked to him. He said, "No more." Yeah. Don't. He's... I'm going to let you go, final warning sort of thing. But there was so much to talk about. But, Evan, you got to be happy with this. That is exactly the kind of refereeing you always are looking for. Yeah. No red card early. No first half red card. No first half red card. Let these guys play. Let Let them duke it out. Yes. Let it simmer. Let the pressure rise. Especially in a derby, you got to give out warnings, final warnings. Be like, guys, stop this. Next one's a red, uh, next one's a yellow. Yeah. yeah thank God, because I got him on the real fever. I read it tear me <laughs> down right now. And then he goes to the corner. I forgot to... Damn, we forgot to mention this. Because you know why? The highlight package did not show this. No, that it, kind doesn't, of like to, it doesn't like to show the dirtiness. Yes. And, we, and, and the Portuguese league is all dirt. And we like to refresh we like to get our, into the dirt. Our, our what happens, right? We need dirty highlights. How do you get the dirty <laughs> version? We're getting the clean dirty. version that they put. We're getting radio version. Yeah. <laughs> we want dirty. Um, 
but uh, we and we must recall that there was also some dirtiness. Di Maria goes to take a corner, and they're just throwing shit at him. What was the one thing the guy he picked up? A seat. He picked a guy. Oh, he was was a picked seat? up the chair seat. It looked like a pizza box to me. <laughs> he hit him with a steel chair. Yeah, it was a chair seat oh from the stadium. Yeah, I think a guy was so mad he kicked it downwards. I guess that's how you pop those off. And it mm. fucking yeah, no respect. But you know what? I think that's all fair in love and war in the derby. You and for the corner kicks, you're gonna get some shit thrown. Mm. Yeah, that's how it goes. I mean, sporting, have your fun. Nice. You beat us. You probably win this year. But we have to remember that Benfica has the history and you are literally nothing. Well, that's to what Benfica. Benfica. Oh, come I, I, on. you sound like Diabolo with the shin pad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling out the oh, shin pad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pull the Put shin, the shin yeah. pad back on. Yeah. Yeah. There was a moment I, I sent it to Justin. Um, Antonio Silva point to the stars on uh, Benfica's crest. Oh, Three. Oh. It means it means more than 30, 38, actually. Yeah. And that's a lot more than Sporting. We're going to hold you back to the three again, stars. You can't just hold on to that. They got you this year. Yeah. yeah. Every year. Yeah, I mean, every year is a new year. Why play the new year then yeah. if we're, if, uh, we're going to just count, count the old ones? Well, it's like they're like, we beat you this year. We beat you every other year. Well, it's just gonna keep Not going anymore. on and yeah, on. Well, well, that's why. Well, who cares? This that's all, it's all stupid. What? What? Yeah. That's why it's called the Derby Eterno, the yes. Eternal Derby. It's gonna go on forever. It's We're gonna be dead. Really I'm gonna still be co- tuning oh, into this course. game. People thought the eclipse was gonna end the world today. Meteors would strike us, but we're still here. Who told you that? <laughs> I don't know. Crazy people are talking about that. We're gonna run out. The world's gonna run out of water. We're still yeah. gonna be here. You know. Ice caps are melting. We'll right. figure it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll live in some Mad, Mad Max kind of scenario. And in that Mad Max scenario, Mad Max or in Water World. Oh, in Ooh. both of those scenarios, Benfica and Sporting are still playing. I don't know why they didn't include yeah. both of those movies because <laughs> you know it's still but going it's, on. But it's water it polo. <laughs> <laughs> They'll <laughs> still figure out a way to play Everyone's that Everyone's speaking Portugal, Greek, and Waterworld, yep. and they're playing soccer somehow. Oh, speaking of Greek, what about what happened to Olympiacos? No, we're not talking about Olympiacos. <laughs> no. I checked, no. Like Patrick Pod- checked when you were recharging. They scored no goals. Podence didn't score. They, uh, they won 5 nothing and didn't score any goals from just Portuguese. A lot of laka laka pusses. <laughs> laka pusses. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, into France. Hey, thanks for checking, man. Yeah, PSG yeah, yeah. plays Clermont Foot. They tie 1-1. Uh, single goal Ooh. for PSG coming from our boy Gonzalo Ramos. And we just saw a second highlight. A second highlight has hit the Twin Towers. We <laughs> just saw it. And Gonzalo Ramos uh, got saved there. Nice goal for this one. Look at this. Yeah, who? Mbappe sliding him in. Woo! A little one two with Mbappe. That's what you have to do he, if you're the striker. Up. He's heating up. Uh, he's you getting, have to finish those. He's, when they were talking about him being sold, he was ill, guys. He's, he's the cl- man clamoring for this year. The man caught mono or something down mm-hmm. there. I don't know what he did in <laughs> Paris. So, Monolopolitis. But yeah. I think for striker, who else can it be? It has oh, to be. It be has him. to be him. I'll take a healthy Jota, please. God bless you. Are you healthy? Don't hang out no. with Jota. No. You're gonna get him sick. No. Not uh, right now. Is yeah. he, How are we gonna? Is he coming back? What's going on with him? Jota? Yeah. Yeah, he's coming off injury. Uh, we don't. He'll probably. I, he'll probably be back in time. I no. not. He doesn't no, have I, enough time. No, no, no. Hey. <laughs> No, Guys, no, 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 no. I promise you this man's going to do something so marvelous for fucking Portugal. You're all going to be turncoats. Don't make promises you can't keep. Yes. He's held her, he's held her Postiga, man. No. He, yeah, for Portugal, I think he's held her Postiga. There was a conversation about uh, someone had posted Gonzalo Ramo. No. Elder Postiga versus Hugo Almeida and their stats. And people were surprised that Hugo Almeida had just as good stats as Elder Postiga. I think because <laughs> of the, Didn't we do that? that? Was us. I, I think it was... But I think it was... Pive, our boy Pive commented, that's surprising because Postiga already always killed it for Portugal. I have to say something about this. That is, I don't know if any of these things are true, but that was continue. revisionist history. If you, I'm sorry if you think Postiga was good for Portugal. I think if by I think watching Hugo the got an overwhelmingly like positive response. The penalty shots of Pelder Postiga carried him. I think because he scored yeah, both yeah. penalty shootouts. That was. Good. But if you watched every game in between, everyone's saying, "Get this man off." Please, he's ruining Ronaldo's yes. Portugal I think career. he was the reason we had to do playoffs yeah. so many times. <laughs> when I think of Postiga, I don't think happy thoughts. No. No. I think Pauletta was better. Pauletta yeah. killed oh, yeah. it in qualifying. He always scored. Oh, oh, yeah. Tournaments, he didn't score. That It happens. Okay, um, so I'll say maybe Jota is more like a Pauletta than a Postiga. Yeah. That's, but it's, That's higher praise But But his career is not over, so... Let the man cook, please. Let the man <laughs> I cook. would like to, yes. While we're on that note of uh, Almeida's, Andre Almeida scored a winner for Valencia in La Liga. We haven't talked about this man in ages. Oh, no one talks about Valencia. Yeah, no, it was a nice goal and he won the game. Yeah, we didn't give him a shout he's out. not in contention for the midfield, but no. maybe one day. Maybe one day. One more thing. Tell me. I wanted to go back. 
to shit on a guy that I forget to keep shitting Back on. Back to shit. Oh. Enzo Fernandez after the <laughs> Manchester United oh, Enzo yeah. game. I call it the Enzo game. He goes in. He gets in whose face? Mount. Mount, because I guess Mount switched sides like he even cares. That's what you told me. He like, doesn't. Why? He doesn't even know. Enzo they probably care. went clubbing together or something. Those <laughs> Enzo cares about losers. Mount. He's just pretending. Just like we do with Benfica. He point, pointed to the badge. Why did they give Mount number seven? to? They're going to take it away from him next year and give it to fucking Garnacho. Why a, would you give Mount seven? It's a curse. He's I don't British. know. Do you want to curse him? A British boy. Uh, yeah, terrible idea. Yeah, Why is it Enzo, Enzo getting into his face? Enzo shithead. I, I'm so mad that they end up winning that game. They should have lost. I wish so they funny. lost. It's like, I bet he still took out his shin pad. And he's Enzo's like, like oh, oh, Enzo's like, I'm Chelsea till I die. You left Chelsea and you went to United. It's like, what the hell do you care? Why are you <laughs> pretending to care about all Chelsea's, this shit? You mercenary. En- <laughs> Enzo's hopping on a plane tomorrow if fucking Real Madrid or Barca come calling. Yeah, for sure. Uh, in Saudi, this happened, feels like ages ago, but the last time we potted, Ronaldo scored a hat trick. We were all very excited. Did we not talk about that? The next day, after our last pod, he scored another hat trick um, with another free kick. Back to back. Back, back to back. To back. Yeah. So I just want to give him a shout out, but it feels like it's been a year since that happened. Today so. he's out of the Super Cup. Yeah, he got a red card today. And he got a red card. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, Super Cup. Yeah, and they lost to Al Halal. They could have broken up that win streak. No, I think no, they really no. wanted the you... win streak. Doesn't count. Oh no, I'm just no. Saying. It always counts. You, you can't they, can't, they can't stop it. You can't stop George <laughs> Zizh. Epa. So wait, the, the win streak is across all competitions. That's correct. A you. Oh, it's He's everything. Not... Every game they play. Every single you game they play, stop. and they're all just winning. No draws. They're just winning. George is Wins. just out there like He-Man, master of the universe, <laughs> just winning and winning and winning. Charlie Sheen, if you will. <laughs> Ronaldo keeps making mistakes. He makes good decisions. It, he should, it, it was nice he went to United, but if he went to City, he would have won a bunch of trophies. He would have been crazy. Apparently, he had one foot in the door in City. That was yeah. stupid. If he went to Halal, Al-Halal in Saudi, he would have won a bunch of trophies and got on this crazy streak. Yep. He went to Nasser. But he went to Al Nasser and now he's struggling. I think M- mismanaged. I, I think the Juventus move was a kind no. of a mistake too. Maybe it's uh, Juventus he won some trophies. He scored that crazy header goal. It was kind of cool that he went to Juventus, I think. Yeah. I but like, what if he went to like Bayern Munich? You know? Yeah, we yeah. wanted that at the time, I remember. Yeah. But also it's one of those things too where it's like you're looking at it now, um, and you're like, man, Ronaldo at 36 at Juventus winning the league and being the top scorer of Italy. And Messi at 36 is just that Inter Miami doing Inter Miami stuff. And nobody cares about this stupid. I don't even think about Messi. I don't yeah, think I don't really think. I but, know. you know. And this also, guy's he's an, like, this guy's an icon on my fucking uh, fire stick. All right. I don't care about it. Uh. <laughs> Messi? Yeah. <laughs> Sight up and watch the MLS. Look, he's the oh. face of the MLS. Eat my ass. <laughs> Eat my apple ass. I think the thing about him too is he, Ronaldo was kind of like for Juventus, they were always in the semifinals at least, mm-hmm. but you could see they were on a downswing. He didn't see that downswing. Manchester United, but it's also le- just a legendary club. Manchester United was second place that year, and he's like, I'm the thing that could take them to the top. I think his like ability well, it's also in himself comeback. was he's a the, little bit of like a little the ex, He thinks he's the X factor. Yes. Yeah, right. He's exactly. like Juventus have they've been doing so well, and they're you know they might be on a sl- on a downslope, but I'm gonna bring them up. Exactly. United have been shit for since Ferguson left, but I'm gonna bring them up. They finished second last year with me first, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Um, local lads, Toronto FC, back to normal. They get slapped for nothing by oh, the white cat. God damn, they got slapped. God damn, they stink. I've been trying a new thing when uh, I watch TFC. When they go down like a couple goals, I turn it off. Nice. <laughs> Not worth and it. That's just Not wasting my time because it ended up being 4 0. Not just yeah. for your own life. You go downstairs, yeah. you lift a couple. I've seen you lately. Lifting. You've been, you've been lifting. Saturday night. I, I had a few drinks. I'm not. I'm not lifting that. Right. Yeah. Switch it back to TF. Uh, switch met, it back I, to Leafs. Yeah. Go out. It's Saturday yourself. night. Yeah. I met Don't up with stay this up. guy. We had a couple of drinks at our uh, favorite dive bar there. We mm. went up that night. Yes. Yeah. It's a good time. 
Was there any twenty any people who haven't been <laughs> who were born after nine eleven there? Probably. <laughs> Definitely. There was a new there's always only two bartenders at this bar. There was a new bartender where you're like, who the fuck is this? Oh, lady? She, she didn't know how to make his favorite drink. She, yeah, she didn't know. Uh, yeah, she didn't know it. She I said, Can I have Bovardier? She started looking up at the bottles. She's like, What is that? I was like, Oh god damn. <laughs> Oof. You, 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 you said you need me to come back there? Yeah, yeah. But no, we had a good time. Good night, so, yeah. I see I see you have a little plug. Saturday here. night, baby. Yep. Uh York United, guys. You gotta come to this home opener, guys. This man is dressed we're in white, green, and blue, blue yeah. angle. It's a nice shirt. We're, do, we're doing a halftime giveaway. You get selected. You come on the field. You can kick a ball and potentially win $35,000. Okay, do you, I feel like the, the team needs mo- this more than I do. <laughs> Is this a crossbar? Who's who's fronting this cash? I don't know, but anyways, <laughs> is Will Farrell from the Tropics running your team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Where he has to go? No, give me it back. <laughs> Here's the you, big check. You want a large check for thirty five thousand dollars? So okay, so tell us more. How do Wait, you win the thirty five? Do I have to shoot from half? Or? We're gonna put like a thing on the net, and you got to score in the target. Oh, uh, I think you got to hit. I don't know. I can't remember what the number is. I've I think seen this game at the carnival. <laughs> Is the hole is smaller than the ball? <laughs> <laughs> hole is smaller than ball. No, they, they, they got a whole system going. Okay. Are you guys carnying it? You're carnying it, yeah. Who's hey. a mark? They're, as you hey, walk in the door, they're giving, putting a little mark on everyone's back to <laughs> show who the mark is. Or are. the ball that you have to kick the winning goal is like a little watermelon. <laughs> it's, got like, it's got like a little spurt at the side. But yeah, that's going to happen. So if you want to be at the game and get a chance to, I think we're calling it the golden goal. Okay. I wasn't a fan of that. I, I was like, that's too close to what they used to call the winning goal in extra time. I, I call mean, it. I mean, it makes sense. Of a Go- makes yeah. sense. I mean, and also you're not giving away gold. You're giving away dollars. Could yeah. call it the $35,000 ball. Dollar goal. Where'd you get up that number 35000 I don't know. That's between the team and the sponsors, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's how they that's work right. that We're going to leave it at that, but... You know what? It's pretty good. So home openers on the 21st. 21st. That's a Sunday. What time is the game? 4 o'clock. Okay. Okay, there. and you're not going to be there. Uh, I may have to switch a shift around, but I'll <laughs> yeah. try to be there. You push that to 10. And the but the f- and the drinks are cheaper before the game starts. Yes. You have to tell people this. I'm working on it, okay? All right. <laughs> working All right. On Chris is a, I'm harder for the sales on your team than you are. Chris hey. was in an indie band, independent band. He knows how to fucking plug, okay? <laughs> give him the details. Give him the times. Give him the prices. That's what people need to know. And who's opening? Yeah. Who's <laughs> opening? The you first can't. game is before the home opener. Evan, you guys have to hire. On auto, they're playing in Ottawa. In Ottawa, 30, I know, yeah. but like, you watch it. Clock. Can you hire like a a Canadian band? Maybe even like a we had a band last year. It was it was actually pretty good. The band. I oh, was you, like the you band. should get the Canadian, the tragically hip cover band. Yeah. The, oh, hip, the hip replacements. Don't <laughs> tell me. <laughs> no, I think they're called the practically yeah. hip. The practically <laughs> hip. Uh, in other news, Canada beats Brazil in penalties to advance to the finals of the She Believes Cup. Is Julia it? Grosso secures the final penalty. In another, in another <laughs> instance of bad naming. I was gonna <laughs> Could say, they say anything else. Is that what it's I like called? it? You know, yeah. I'm a believer. I believe. I believe. Right. And she believes. He he believes me. I believe. Uh-huh. Anyways, Julia Grosso, she's half Portuguese. <laughs> Fucking we love right. her. We love her winning a game on penalty kick. She did it in the Olympics. She did it, and she believes semifinals. And you have her UVA jersey. I bought her UVA jersey. Nice, yeah. nice man. She posted on her Instagram her in the Canada jerseys. I was like, you know what? These Canada jerseys don't look so bad anymore. The white one with the stripes looks good, but the I like fucking collar is weird. It like yeah. flip. It's like a flip yeah. thing. But yeah, I might. Hey man, maybe hey, I will. A flip maybe thing? I will get it. You could pop the collar sign, then. And we, you pop it. Yeah. We got a signed ball from her in the office. Wow, give it to me. Okay. Big fan over here. Big fan. Uh, Stonk of the week. I'll give it to that guy. I'll give it to the Formiga. 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 Some, we got to give it up. Chris? You can't control the stonks. It's like ketchup, you know? It's yeah. like, sometimes some, they come, sometimes they don't. Yeah, exactly. And we like um, Long Ball giving us a shout, asking us if we can approve it. Yeah. We weren't crazy about it, but <laughs> Albert we, Barney, we, we like appreciate it. the question. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, you know what? To be honest, the stonk caliber was not very high on this one. So it registers. I like it because, you know, we. St- I got it from British guys, or we got it from British guys, the stonk yeah. thing. You but know, hearing also, that thing stonk. So th- they sh- they know about stonks. Yeah. But also, it's like that was the game winning goal. So I think that also elevates Ooh, the yeah. stonk level. Good and point. The, the team went crazy. In ex- yeah. In the extra time or the 87th minute. Like, that, what a game. That yeah. Puts it up. 
Congratulations for me. Uh, uh, wow, wonder. Wonder, wonder, wonder. I got one for you guys. We, we talked about it a bit. Our boy Chiquinho. Chiquinho, uh, yeah. Yes. He's on a roll. Yes. Love it. Love Chiquinho. The man's fighting for it. He's like, get me out of here. He's cooking up in there. Get me out of here. There is part <laughs> of me. There's part of me. Daniel Suja. He's taking over Braga. He wrecked them. He you want to do a coach? He drawing. raked them through the mud. Yeah. That was a great performance against the team that is going to get signed. Yeah. Bruno scored two goals, but didn't really. It was a tie and a loss. So it's not bad. Fantastic. Yeah, a tie and a loss. Mm. I like Sha- I like Shaquinho on Finlay Cohen. I hope he does the same thing against. Is it Porto he's coming up against? Yeah, that's the next Oof. game. Oof. Let's give it preemptively to get boost his boost his you know is get nuts. Him, the yeah, is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing <laughs> to get him yeah. dick swinging. Yeah. Other than that, we got a shout out from uh, I think it was Azorian Alchemy on Twitter. He says, "Does Jenny qualify for Juan Wonder?" Yeah, that's a tough one. But Patrick Mozambique made the point about man. him being Mozambique. It's kind of like we're claiming Mozambique. We don't want to go back and claim I Mozambique. Don't, I, I don't want to get involved in that. No. No. Yeah, that's, that's politics. Yeah, that's that's like we said, that that's the past. We keep it in the past. Yeah, he yeah. plays <laughs> for Mozambique. He does not play for Portugal. He's never played for Portugal. He's not born in Portugal. He already uh, played for Bo- Mozambique. He, he played, played in Afcon, and yeah. he did very very well in the Afcon. I will say that. He's yep. fun. He's fun to watch. Yes, I, lo- I would love to watch him in the so, future on Mozambique. So Congrats sorry, for Jenny. Sorry, Jenny. Sorry, Jenny. You got a gun. You used it a bunch of times this week. Two uh, two goals and assist. Great week. Stand out for you. Can't beat one wonder. No, but a great. We should re- we should commend the week nonetheless. Yes. And commend Sporting of course. and all that. So Shaquino all around. Yep. Okay, Shaquino. Yes. I like that one. I like that. Thanks once again for listening. Hit us up on the social at Portugal underscore corner on X at Portugal corner on Insta. Join us on Patreon. Listen to us uh, on the after show talking Portugal corner in the corner. Listen to us on Palma radio and or YouTube. You can email us at Portugal corner at gmail.com. Subscribe wherever you get your podcast. Take a minute to leave a rating review and check out the old episodes. If you like, we'll uh, see you next week. And if you, uh, you're into all the goodness, we're going to be on Patreon right now. Yeah, we're going to drink a couple bits of more wine. We're going to watch the Portuguese kids. Yes. We're going to go, yes. yeah. go watch the Portuguese kids. You know? <laughs> okay, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.